Welcome back guys, Alex Louie here again, your XLVBA so-called guru, but I'm not really a guru. I'm not an expert in anything, just doing this out of the goodness of my heart. No ads, never any ads on YouTube, so you can enjoy this course without any commercials. So last time we were here we talked about data types, and what I want to talk about today is how to do any type of mathematical operation in your Excel macros. And it's very easy, so you know how you have a calculator. All right, let me pull that up. And again, we're really starting from the fundamentals here because you need to understand how programming works in general. So if I type in 95 plus 5, it's going to give me 100, right? The calculator has a bunch of mathematical operators here. So it's addition, subtraction, multiplication, division and we have those available to us on VBA. Very simple. Now if we, if we relate that concept back to what I taught you in the previous lecture which was what is your input, what are you processing, and where is or what is your output. We can now start building small little programs using these math operators. So let's take a look. So let's say I, somebody asked you, well, write a macro that's going to add two numbers together. Very easy for me, not so easy for you. So when somebody asks you things like that, or you're trying to process something in terms of a problem, you have to think in terms of what the concepts are. So what is your input? What is coming in? What are you doing? What action are you taking on that input? And what are you actually going to do with the result? Something with simple as adding two numbers, we know that our input is going to be our two numbers. Let's declare those two numbers now. And we will we will assign them a value on the VBA code. Let's do dim num1 as integer, sorry. Dim num2 as integer. And then we're asked to find the sum of this. And like I said in my previous, just a couple minutes ago, I said, well, we have a couple of operators available to us. So we have the plus, the minus, the multiplication, and the division. And there's also one more called the modulus. And we'll, we'll, have, we'll dedicate a lecture just for the modulus, so don't worry about that. So that's not a percentage sign. That's actually a modulus operator. Now, one thing that I did not cover on my previous lecture was, what am I doing with this single quote? So anything in single quotes means it's a comment. So when you run your macro, it's not it's going to ignore that line with that single quote. So that's why I use a single quote. So the VBA will ignore this single quote. Now, in order for me to take the result, I have to actually store the result somewhere. So because we're adding two integers, our result is going to be obviously an integer. So we can say dim, dim answer as integer. Right? We can define the first number as perhaps 95, the second number as 5. So what we've done is we've taken care of our input and we've defined it as and assigned it values to it now. Now usually the input will come from the user or in your case it's always going to come from the Excel sheet. Be patient, we'll learn how to read directly from an Excel sheet but first you need to learn this. Now we have our input coming in and we need to assign the result of the sum somewhere because we can't just say num1 plus num2, we actually have to say where is the result of num1 and num2 the, the sum of num1 and num2 going to be stored. And the way I do that is I declare another storage value call, called answer. Now if I say answer is equal to num1 plus num2, what's going to happen is it's going to take the value that I assigned in the previous lines here and store that result into answer. Now I'm going to use my good old message box and say answer. Okay, so now if I run this, it's going to be a hundred. 
right? I can e I can even add something to this and say the answer of num1 and num2 and uh, actually I can say the sum of num1 and num2 ampersand is answer so if I run this again sum num2 100 right I forgot to put this okay so what I'm doing here is I'm using the mathematical operator and I'm taking what the values what they represent so remember each variable must have a value assigned to it eventually and what I've done is I've assigned 95 and 5 so what would happen if I do this if I run that well you're gonna get some either you're gonna get an error or you're gonna get a bad result why because you don't have any values here right so if I run this it just says the sum of num1 and num2 is 0 so when you declare them the default the in initial value that they're gonna be declared to is 0 and some data types do that if you declare a data type a uh, variable of a data type it will automatically initialize the variable to its initial value. In this in this particular case, integers are initialized to zero. I believe booleans are initialized to false. Right. So as as long as you understand the concept that you must have some value for your variables that are coming in and you're doing a process, then you can think about and start thinking about when you're extracting data from an Excel sheet a particular cell you're going to store that value in a variable and then once you store that value in a variable then you can start manipulating or writing it to some other cell that you want okay that's it for today uh, I hope you picked up some things on how to manip now we have the we have pretty much gone full circle we have input process and output so what is my process is this one 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 command for my process one line of code kind of get more complicated than that stay tuned for the next videos coming up soon thanks